Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. Today we are going to have uh, a look at uh, the most important features uh, in geometry, which uh, is all about lines and shapes and points or positions and sizes. Uh, but before we go into those details, we need to remind ourselves about the the brief history or historical perspective of 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 Sarko. Uh, according to the scribe Hamid or Hamis, <laughs> Hamis, uh, the scribe uh, who actually wrote the Rhind Papyrus documents. Uh, the document that records a historical perspective or important concepts in mathematics. Um, according to him, he stated that uh, Sarko actually uh, was discovered sometimes back in 2000 BC by the people of Egypt and Mesopotamia or Mesopotamia. But he came up with the Rhind papyrus sometimes in the 1900 BC. That's why many uh, sources out there referred to that period as being uh, the period when the cycle was discovered. But in that document, which was written in that period, um, Hermes actually stated that circle could have been in existence way back before 1900 BC, which he, he approximated it to be like sometimes in 2000 BC. Now, 4,000 years ago, up to now, we are still using the same concept. And that tells you how generic and how authentic these concepts are and how important they are in geometry because uh, nobody has come up with similar kind of theories like that. That's why uh, circle remains the backbone of mathematics and uh, in geometry specifically. According to Hermes, he stated that the first person who actually tried to work out the value of pi was the Archimedes of Syracuse who used different techniques uh, like uh, trying to use polygon fitting, in, uh, inscribing polygon inside the circle and using the length of the side of the polygon and the internal angle of the polygon to work out the perimeter of the polygon in order to estimate the value of pi. And it came with something close to uh, 3.167 something something. But uh, finally, if you manipulate with the current system, like using a Pythagoras theorem and some cosine, sine function, especially cos uh, the sine function, you can estimate and come up. You can come up with the value which is very close to 3.14. Another person who also contributed to uh, the calculation or trying to estimate the value of pi was. A Chinese mathematician known as Zhu Chongzi. <laughs> he also contributed a lot and uh, he deserved to be recognized. And uh, that took place sometimes in, uh, I would say, between 200 to 650 BC. But to be precise, the Archimedes of Syracuse actually did the trial sometimes in 250 BC. Now, in uh, Sorry, excuse me. In the 17th century to the 18th century, a lot of things happened concerning pi. For example, William Jones in the 1700s decided to make pi official, and uh, he's the one actually who brought the notion of pi into the mathematical community. And uh, also, uh, Almost in the same period, um, uh, Bernoulli, Jacob Bernoulli tried to uh, use pi also, and uh, he he was trying to do, you know to work with pi, but mainly he was he was aiming at different constant when he was doing his calculus to estimate the population growth, and he came close to uh, 
discover the the Euler constant uh, ident constant e, but he did not actually quite get there. So that gave opportunity to Euler, actually Leonard Euler, who actually discovered uh, uh, some kind of identities known as Euler's identity. And in Euler's identity, there's a constant known as E, which is Euler's constant. And that E is approximated to something like uh, 2.718281828459045, and so on and so on. So that identity become, became the Euler's identity sometimes in the 18th century. And, uh, you know, um, Bernoulli, who worked hard for that identity, <laughs> was not recognized. But uh, he actually, according to me, he, he experienced uh, working with uh, Euler's constant, even more than Euler, although Euler constant became part of uh, or the base of the Euler's identities, uh, one of which is e raised to the power of i times pi plus 1 equals to 0. That's one of the Euler's identities. But, uh, yeah, he, he, just, he just nicked it from uh, Jacob Bernoulli, who worked so hard and came close, but... <laughs> Euler's actually is the one who confirmed that, okay, there's some constant, which is E, and that is irrational number as well, which disobeys, obviously, the law of number, just like pi. And he came up with I as well, which is the square root of minus 1, and is mainly using the complex number. So those are the kind of, you know, the, the, the mathematician that, you know, if you're doing math, you know, it's very, very, very important to have them at the back of your mind and try to think of what were they looking for to come up with those kind of numbers and discover such kind of irrational number or can we find something similar to what they did or is there any possibility that what they did is wrong? Unfortunately, uh, we are just consumers and uh, uh, we are just using what they discovered rather than trying to discover something new from what they have come up with. And that's a challenge in the mathematical community. We are still using what has been discovered like five, four thousand years ago up to now to define our community as mathematical community but that is history you know history is very great because from history we learn we can learn the future or the present so we go in circle thank you for viewing and I hope this has been informative in the next video we are going to look at some of those features of the circle and how to use them to produce other features and solve complex or simple problems in mathematics and I hope we will enjoy the journey together as we carry on with our learning. And I would like to take this opportunity again to thank you for coming to Crystal Core channel. It's a Crystal Core channel is meant for you to actually gain the basic understanding in mathematics and computer science so that you can become, you know, well as tuned, you know, with uh, the knowledge that you need to solve mathematical problems we give you the concept the basic foundation and you can use them apply them in many areas to solve mathematical problems because without foundation even the house cannot stand that is why this channel is called crystal core skills thank you for viewing i'll see you next